This video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome. It's our birthday stream. Yay! Hey Galanji, thank you for the five months. I appreciate you. Um, Hola Gabby, oh slash happy birthday. Thank you so much, Galanji. You're so sweet. Welcome back with a four months. Uh, well, five months, four months streak. So today we're playing a UB Reanimator. Um, it is a deck that where the goal is to try to get Agent of Treachery into play. Cheating it out using either Blood for Bones or Concoct. So basically all the stuff at the beginning of your curve mills you. Bethic Biomancer loots, Stitcher Supplier mills, Seeker Squire explores, which is kind of like milling. Um, and Tombow and Lich also loots, so you can put it in the yard. Then you can use Blood for Bones to eat any of these idiots, and then try to reanimate the good the, the good idiots, the Scholar of the Ages, the Age in the Treachery, the Villas Broker of the Bolt of the of Blood. And then Conive Concoct is Concoct is just a reanimate spell as well, so it's like a different Blood for Bones. And then you have some mid rangey creatures here, like a Massacre Girl and a Cavalier of Night for good measure. So Alright, let's try to reanimate some idiots, shall we? What is Feaster of Fools? Feaster of Fools, 4BB, Creature Demon, 3 3 Convoke, Flying Devour 2. <laughs> is that us eating the idiots? Why not Lazav over Squire? Um, I guess Lazav is playable. You could Surveil. I do like that this draws you cards if, like, that, that does seem like a little bit better. But all the other cards are bad that have, like, good ETBs, not necessarily good to copy. So I think Lazav seems a little worse because of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll be eating some idiots. Ooh. Did I just get my ice cream delivery? Oh, I think so. I got like an Amazon Prime delivery and it includes ice cream for later today. Thank you so much, Shadow. Is there a reason for not playing Bond over Revival? Knife Concoct has two modes, so you can sometimes use the other mode, but you can probably just play Bond. Bond is just really expensive. Okay. We have a lot of blood for bones. All right, we really need to hit a land off of this. Graveyard. Yeah, so Cuban MTG or it's um, it's not it's not quite that. It's uh, Amazon Prime has like one day delivery, and you can sometimes get like stuff through them. You can get groceries through them. So I already was getting a bunch of stuff, and then I also put some ice cream in the order. Um, sounds like they have an instant. I didn't actually, like, I know Treat Stream. They actually kind of went under. I don't think I want to block here. Yeah, they do have a spell. They don't, they don't work anymore, Coolibri. I think they went out of business. <laughs> do I know about Treat Meme? Do they still work, Dokomoi? I remember, like, Luis and I set it up, and then there were, like, a lot of problems with it, so we're like, meh. No, oh, maybe they still work, Colibri. I had an account with them. Had it back when I was in Chicago, but I haven't used it in a long time. Uh... Geez, Salmon Sprint is bad for me. I think, given their hand, I'm supposed to just take Chandra. That's good. You never use them, but Jamie raised about him. It's 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 well executed. The way it works is you just select like a number of restaurants near you that work, and then people can just order straight from the website. You saw a version of this deck with quasi duplicate mirror image and spark double and just steals all your lands. That's funny, Xpen. I'm digging it. All right, so yeah, they're gonna do that attack and then flash this back, kill my secret squire. They're gonna hit me for a lot. Thank you, Manalik. Manalik, congratulations on your wedding again. The pictures were awesome. I literally have no idea what just happened. That was really strange. I think they were just off it. 
paid actor, clearly. People just like the the scooping cabal where people scoop to me. That's what's going on over here. <laughs> Wait, am I not supposed to tell people about the cabal? <laughs> if I tell people about the cabal, they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna catch on to me. They're gonna know. <laughs> you gotta earn your minus five a month somehow, squirrel. You don't just get it by Sunday Subway sandwiches. You gotta you gotta step up the <laughs> gotta step up the code on a monthly basis. Uh, they're probably gonna take my blood for bones. They might take my thought erasure, actually. Yeah. Ooh, kind of like that. <laughs> you haven't met your quota this month, Ark. I don't know about that. Clearly, Squirrel. Congratulations, you debated yourself. Legion Zen taking my other secret squire? How could they? Oh my gosh, and now I have a million blood for bones. This is a disaster. They activated Sleemkin instead of attacking. Oh, they did that, and they just shame scooped. I mean, that is pretty embarrassing. Oh, Jesus. This is what happens when we don't queue. People just scoop to you like that. Also, they legions on my creature, and then they legions on all the cards in hand. It's horrible. Oh my god, Molly. How was the Vegas cube? It was really good. I think people had a really good time. Um, let me get the third black source for the Cavalier. Although they know about my hand. They know they don't know about this card, I guess. I opened Cavalier and got two blood for both Louise. <laughs> don't make fun of my deck. This is really stupid. Oh man, show me what you got. We can take five fairy probably. Unmoored ego, absorb and moment of craving? Jesus. <laughs> Luis! Come on, don't be like that. Why you gotta be so mean? Uh, what do we do? I guess if I take the unmoored ego and they target my blood for bones, I can still reanimate things. So maybe I just take the absorb. Oh, that seems okay. Oh shoot, did I not play my... Okay, yeah, they're gonna name Unmoored Ego. Or sorry, they're gonna Blood for Bones. Molly, I just like that I could, if they didn't unmoored ego me this turn, I could use it to reanimate, so... <laughs> I'm gonna get to draw two new cards. I still have Knife Concoct in the deck. Luis, why are you making fun of my nice deck? It's on my, on my birthday stream, even. How could you? How could you? No, playable on Merfolk is, was never a compliment. <laughs> All right, what do we get? A Seeker, Squire, and... Oh! Wow, whitelist, look at that. <laughs> Squirrel, thank you for the biddies. Okay, we do get to adapt here. All right, well, Tonebound Lich my draws into something. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> oh yeah, look at that plus one biddies. You really, you're crushing the game, Squirrel. So what did they get? They got back the Absorb. Oh, that's bad for me. Got a Tonebound Lich. Discard the Watery Grave. Play a Benthic Biomancer. Play the swamp, adapt, get something sweet. Oh, come on. 
We are super dead. I think this like tries to deck you with ego. Oh my god, does it? That's kind of amazing. That's fair, Dokumoi. I would never expect you to root against the Mariah Conjecture. I don't... I don't really get to adapt again, right? Nah, I was just checking. Ooh. So should we try... I guess I could try to do it, but then they already have the Absorb right now, which doesn't really super help me. Thank you so much, Armadinho. Man, they have all their mana, too. Feels bad. This deck probably would be better with better basics. I mean, I think I still try to do this. Hold on. No. I do have all the cool lands, too. Wait, they let me- they let this resolve? What are they doing? Why did they let me do that? <laughs> I don't understand. They- I think maybe they thought they could respond to, like, the surveil or something? I- I don't even know. It was loose AF. Agent of treachery, huh? A little too late, my friend. It's already in play. Maybe they do know it was my birthday. Maybe they're just really so thoughtful. They're really sweet. I mean, I guess if they have a, like, Wrath, they can search it with Mastermind's Acquisition. Alright, so I have the Mirari Conjecture in this, in, like, play. I need to find something off of Tomebound Lich. Poggers! So I get to copy it twice. I get back a Cavalier and a Benthic Biomancer. I guess that's the best we've got. This is kind of amazing, though. Well, we might get something sweet, because we do get to Surveil. Strong Badinator, thank you for the 29 months. No! Wait. Why was it un... Why was it uncounterable? Oh, that's true, you get two. You're right. I think we just get the Cavalier. Boom. Yeah, I forgot. I was, I was confused. I thought it... I do not want to sacrifice another creature. I um I was confused because the pink border is the uncounterable, and this was like a blue border that looked really similar to it. Ooh, I wonder what they're gonna go get. Blue border means copy. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever seen that before. It's been a long time since I've cast the the Mirari conjecture. I know, what a great birthday present. Our fun is a uh, strong badinator, thank you so much for the 29 months. I'm sorry, I I almost missed you. I am so sorry. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. I know, they, they haven't had Singleton in a long time, huh? For that to happen. I want to see what, what business they got up to. That's fine. Uh, Yeah, let's just get Stitches. Yo, Johnny, thank you, and Strange Champion, thank you. Oh, that was really sad. <laughs> Oh, wow. Did you see what we stole? We got away with murder. Bye-bye. You're playing a Chandra and a Lardic that I'm having a lot of fun with. Oh, yeah, that sounds sweet. And during, if you want to, like, PM me, that would be sweet. All right, we do get to do a bunch of loots. Oh, discard that one. Discard this one. Ba ba boom. Look at this complete overkill. <laughs> Let's get a knife concoct and did it work? And a probably like an erasure just to make sure that they don't they don't do anything too fancy. Uh, yeah, Death Row, if you want to go back on my Twitter for 
like at GP Denver, like from two months ago, I wrote an entire like Denver restaurant recommendations. Man, we should have it pinned to my... I feel like we should have that pinned to my profile. Because people ask, like, this is the second time in, like, this week that people have asked me about it. Oh, do you have it, Squirrel? Squirrel, if you have that link, can you give it to me? I want to make a command with it so I can just link people from here. With just, like, an exclamation mark restaurant recommendation or something. Yeah, Strobe, I find that, like, I really appreciate when people do restaurant recommendations for their hometown because, I don't know, food is one of those things that I have, like, really strong opinions about. And... I know that like one of the ways that I love sharing with people that I that are close to me is I like sharing with food. So when my family comes to town or friends come into town or people are coming to like experience stuff, like I'm always very eager to like sh share restaurant food recommendations because I think food's one of those things that I have like a pretty good taste for and I engage in a lot. So when people do that for other like hey, I have San Diego restaurant recommendations for people who are coming to TwitchCon. I find that really exciting because I know that people have put a lot of time and effort into it. Yeah, me too. Me too. Exactly the same arc. And it's funny because I think Luis knows that about me. And so he is, I think one of the ways that he shows love is through food. Like he'll always like cook me meals that I really like. Or sometimes he'll like send me food if he's out of town and stuff. And Golmo, thank you for the 25 months. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh my god, no squirrel. <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm being called out. Hmm. So they have a dental face in play. Wait, how does gain control target with power two or less? So we definitely want to take feather. Subway is awful. <laughs> Ooh. I like binning that. That's a good one to bin. Oh, that sounds really good, Life. I love Thai food. Oh my gosh, Squirrel, why? <laughs> the second time we were posting it, we were just trolling people because people were like so like worked up about it, you know? Okay, so I still think we Tonebound Lich, but we're probably going to steal the Legion War Boss with Connive. Or we might end up just like... We might end up Massacre Girling the board, we'll see. Discard a Villis. <laughs> September is back strong. That's part of the reason I wanted to line up uh, Subversary with September is... Oh no, how dare they? Hmm. All right, this is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Oh man, Stitcher Supplier, if we had one more mana, we could like reanimate something sweet here, but we can't yet. Massacre Girl's gonna have to do a lot of work to clean this up though. Do they have anything that can flash back right now? No. I think this means we just have to like play Stitcher Supplier, chomp a Danto Vanguard for like a turn, and then Massacre Girl sweep the board. Basically, is the only play I think we've got. Yeah, we as long as we don't die this turn, I think we'll be okay. Massacre Girl's gonna really, really do a number on them. But and even if they play another creature, that's also fine. I just want them to not play like a Haster. Like, even Feather is fine. Okay, hold on. Let me see, Squirrel. What is this? <laughs> A, you can never go too far. A, you can... <laughs> Hour of Glory. What does that do, Purplish? Yeah, so if they have a bunch of burn, that would also be bad. Or if they play like a spell that they can play the spell to shock, flashback with Dreadhorde or Canis, kill my Citrus Supplier, like that would be a really bad sequence for us. Project Norris, thank you for the four. No! This is exactly what I was worried about. So I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 with a mentor. 
Oh my gosh. So the problem now is, I mean, that shot gets exiled, but like anything's gonna kill us now. Yeah, so we go to literally one. Okay, play a creature. They didn't play a creature. That's bad for me. Massacre girl. Hey, Amphi friends. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. All right. As long as they don't top deck burn, we're doing okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take an extra turn? I don't think there's a card like that in standard right now. Yeah, goodbye creatures. It's nice knowing ya. Tone Bad Lich has lifelink. That's gonna be important, I think. Oh, chance for glory. Yeah, I guess that does work, huh? But then you lose the game at the end right there. They're hovering over their card. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna steal it, I think. Ship. If they have a haste creature, I can just block with an Ento Vanguard, let it die. Oh yeah, I guess if they had pro pro something, that would have been kind of annoying, huh? Let me tone bound Lich first. See what we draw. Another Blood for Bones. Maybe we should have just played Benthic Biomancer and then Blood for Bones. Maybe that was just better. So I don't need double blood for bones. I really want to play a lifelinker, though. Okay. okay. I'm still not out of range for shock. Is it my- It is, Moose! I will not click the Adento. I'm really scared. I don't think it will even let you. Because you can't pay life that you don't have. Hey, we did it! Yeah, I was. That's right, right, Azure. It won't actually let you pay if you don't have the life to pay. I don't believe in magic. As long as you like, you can shock yourself from two to zero to die, but you can't shock yourself from one to minus one to die. Am I excited for Sun Devil Drain? Yes, I think the flavor for that set looks really awesome. I'm also just very excited for like new set. I I am. You know how sometimes you're like, oh, I can't believe there's a new set coming. Like I'm I'm still enjoying the set. I think for this previous set, I'm like. Nah, I'm like ready. Bring bring on the new set. Uh Team Kazakh, I I still haven't seen the list. I don't know. I don't he's not gonna show it to me. I like I don't I don't even know where he has it. I think if you just want to get some feedback, you should ask him, but uh let me destroy the land of worlds. That is fine. That doesn't really matter. All right, let's take something good away. Ooh, <laughs> these are pretty good. Um, I think we're gonna have the most difficult time with Nissa, so I think we just let them keep the Hydrate Crisis, and then eventually we're maybe gonna like Agent a Crisis or like Cavalier to kill it. So let's take Nissa. Thank you, Undead Pora. Ooh, ooh, I'm digging that. Let's keep that on top. We need to loot something good. Oh, it did change the standard a lot. I, I'm just kind of bored of the standard gatekeeper, so I'm like ready for something new. Mm. Yeah, let me just bin. Oh, let me just bin, bin agent. And then next turn, I could just agent to. I don't even know if I want to steal anything here. They're gonna make a hydrate for four, a hydrate crisis for four. Eh, that seems like it's stealable. Oh, I kind of like thought erasuring them. Could always steal their mana, maybe. Stealing that hydrate crisis does look kind of appealing. I wish we had mana to do Thought Erasure and Blood for Bones. That would be really sweet because I can't even Cavalier right now. I think I'm just going to try to agent that Hydrate Crisis. Sack you. Um, which gun goes to the battlefield and this one goes back to hand. Okay. 
And then yoink. Thank you so much, Pika. Oh, we should have attacked first. Yes, we should have definitely attacked first because they're not going to block the Tonebound Lich. And then we get to loot one more time. Thank you so much, Fine Peas. Oof. So this puts any card back on top, right? Yeah, so they can put like a Nissa back on top, maybe if I kill it. Hmm. All right, let's just go Tonebound Lich and to see if we loot. Like, we want to get another black source, basically. Meh. We can mend that island. I think we can probably Thought Erasure to take that Hydrate Crisis because that card's going to be really obnoxious. Ugh. Voracious Hydra is also obnoxious. I think we still take the Crisis, though. Um. I think we just want to find another land for the Cavalier, but Tomb Mountain Lich is quite good. Can't attack. Probably didn't want to loot. I mean, I, you always do want to loot. I don't think it's affected this game very much. Squirrel, I'm glad that you're here to be to be on brand. I I appreciate how much you you stay on brand with the looting thing. Classic always loots. Oh no, that's bad for me. That is really bad for me. Ooh, that's a lot. Ouch. That was my hydrate crisis. Mm. So I hate it because this is just means that they're going to get to put something back on top. But I honestly don't think we can... Like, we just can't be taking damage from this cavalier anyway, so... Yeah, they're going to put crisis back on top. Seems reasonable. Hmm... So we can Blood for Bones sack the Agent of Treachery to steal their Nyssa? That makes their Hydrate Crisis much worse, too. Yeah, it seems not bad, right? Okay, so we can put uh, Agent of Treachery back on the battlefield and then Tome and Lich back to hand. And we can take the Nyssa. It is, Gokai. Thank you. I'll take a lot of Brazilian love. I appreciate that. Thank you, Nerd Rocket. Happy birthday. All right, so let's put some counters on this island. I think we want to play Seeker Squire. We really, really want to try to hit the the third black source for the Cavalier. Ayo, boom. So at the very least, this Hydrate Crisis isn't going to be enormous. Does this thing have Trample? It does. They're coming at me. I'm surprised they're going phase two. I'm just going to double block the forest. <laughs> they're scared of putting my Agent of Treachery into the yard. That's funny. Hydra Tribal, I play the same deck. Uh, Yeah, this looks like just like a blue-green ramp deck, right? Oh, I can't quite hard cast that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So technically, I could do seven if I untap with Nissa. Yeah, I think so. Should we do that? Is that better than playing Cavalier? It might be. And then I guess we take the Hydroid Crisis. Then we try to double block with like Agent of Treachery and Hydrate Crisis onto the Voracious Hydra.
All right, we are doing our best to survive here. We're doing okay, I think. You made this, I made this. Yeah, we are we are kind of managing to do a good job grinding out with one of like the more grindy decks in the format and we're not like a super grindy deck either. <laughs> Yeah, so how many permanents of theirs do I have? At the beginning of your end step, you control three or more permanents. Ugh. Yeah, so we have two. We have their Nyssa and we have their Hydroid Crisis. We're really close. So that's pretty annoying. If they have another, like, giant Hydra, I think we're in a lot of trouble. But next turn, I can just Cavalier a Knight sack, like, an Agent of Treachery to kill their Voracious Hydra, and I think we're in okay shape. Exactly. We play our own cards when we can play our opponent's cards. Ayo. Blood for Bones will be such gas. This looks like they're trying to cast something huge. They have another voracious Hydra, I think. Oh, that was my Hydra. How could you? Oh, interesting. I don't know. I generally like more colored decks. Pika Miner for Commander, I think, because I think the games are like super slow. Um, I think I can just let Nissa take the six. Hmm. So I have one, two, three, and then I could go one, two, three, four, on top five. So we could play Tonebound Lich. And then play Cavalier of Night to kill the Hydroid Krasis. Yeah, so I think we just Lich first. Hold on. Unicorn Gooby Lady, how are you? It's really good to see you. So we do have to play... Oh, no, we want to... Hold on. I need to go one, two, three, like that. And then we still have enough to Cavalier of Night. Thank you so much, lady. We're doing a birthday celebration. Hmm. Yeah, I still think we've been the swamp. Can we... One... Oh no, what am I doing? I needed the swamp to actually cast the Cavalier. I, I don't know why... I needed to bend the Stitcher Supplier. What did I do? Oh shit. That was really bad. <laughs> well... Stitcher Supplier, I guess. We're not dead. I, I did just, like, brain fart that. Behold, yeah, now our Nissa's gonna die. At least I can Toman Lich to block the Racious Hydra. When the opponent ropes you out, so you just alt-tab, yeah. I mean, yeah, that was really bad. I don't know why I got distracted with the Stitcher Supplier. Okay, so they didn't attack with a Voracious Hydra, which is good for us. We still need to deal with this Nissa, though. I wouldn't mind drawing an Agent. So I think next turn we just, like, Cavalier stacking the Stitcher Supplier. Kill the Hydroid Crisis, and, like, that's the best play we got. Unless we draw, like, Blood for Bones or something. Hey, Magic Fanatic! I don't think we've had good attacks on Nissa, Phoenix. They they keep having the, the Voracious Hydra, which is... Because they're not attacking with it. Could sack Agent to get it in the yard. Blood for Bone sacks it too, but I, I guess if we draw Connect Concoct, we don't have a way to sack it. So maybe we do just sack an Agent of Treachery to Cavalier. I like that this gets more cards in our yard. Oh no. Well, that thing's huge. They're probably just gonna need an island. Oh. Well, we really can't have that, so let's just Cavalier Knight Second Agent. Thank you, Wolfsark. I appreciate it. Alright, so let's target, sack an agent, kill Voracious Hydra. Yeah, I am surprised they chose not to fight. 
That was really surprising to me. We could attack with Lich, then we get to loot the villas, which is something. Then I'm not sure what we're doing with that, but I'm sure we can do something. I think we have to try to attack Nissa because she's about to ult. Thank you, DP. Wow. I am shocked that that's what happened. Why would they do that? Did they not realize I had Death Touch? They must have not. There's no way they did. The land for us. Yeah, I think they forgot about it. They would have never blocked otherwise. Hey, Battle Ram, how are you? Thank you for the birthday wishes. Ooh, Surrendering, thank you for sending me that deck list. I appreciate that. Thank you, Passionate Soul. God, they have so many of these. <laughs> it's not going to kill the Voracious Hydra, though. Good, Battle Ram. That sounds sweet. I mean, I'm going to do it, but like, it's not going to kill it, though. We're short so many creatures for that to work. And then we're just going to die. I guess I can attack with all and just do it for funsies. I'm going to stone rain mostly myself. All right, let's see if they get Chikorino and maybe... Nah, they didn't. They, they're 32-33 blocked on my 33. All right, well, we are dead, but we might as well do this on the way out. Boom. <laughs> uh. You have to admit, at the very least, this was kind of sweet. Even if it wasn't good enough. Oh my god. Tyrant Scorn could actually deal with this thing. We don't have the mana for it though. That's so sad. I know, if we floated the mana, we probably could have killed it. I just did it for funsies because I thought we were dead. <laughs> Happy birthday, yeah. Take two, Hello, thank you. Yes, we had six. Oh, then never mind, we were not close. We are daubers. Thank you so much, take two for me, Grim. I'm taking... How much do you you take two for each me, Grim? So I'm taking, what, 70, 72? I'm taking 72 for me, Grim. I've never cast me, Grim. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play one last one and then we'll switch to Grixis Cube. That sounds good, Pika, I like it. You tried out that Golgari Citadel like you were playing the other day, never really played Massacre Girl before, pretty fun. Yeah, Wolf's Ark, I like Massacre Girl in that deck. I think if you do card Megrim, that's how it works, Megrim. This looks good. Oh my gosh, Gatekeeper, what's your new commander deck? You guys, I want to build a, an actual commander deck. I, I always have FOMO about like going to events and not having a commander deck because people want to play commander and sometimes it sounds fun, but I don't have like a deck on me. What should I do? Thank you, Siphon. Did we mill anything good? Wow, Benthic Biomancer, we did it. I like, if I were to play a commander deck, it would be blue for sure. Probably like maybe green. So probably like blue-green Rashmi or something like that. I, I mean, I'm a sucker. Those are my favorite colors. Oh, uh, I needed to bin this, not draw it. Oh, that's kind of cool, Volsark. Oh, and we'll draw the commander deck sounds super up my alley, Squirrel. It sounds soups up my alley. Yeah, so... Wolf's Ark, yesterday Sunny, Sunnyvale, a uh, friend of the stream, was here asking about what my favorite, like, Brawl commander would be. And I said, I said, uh, um, Yarok. Okay, we still don't have anything good to bin, right? Let's just play Tombound Lich. Alright, we're gonna get something good in the, in the yard now. Yeah, we can Agent of Treachery that thing. Might as well attack with these two. There is no way they block. Thank you so much, John. 
You have a $500 that Healy Super Friends build that I could send you if you like artifacts. I do like artifacts. That does sound fun. I think I'm probably leaning towards like Muldrotha or like Yarok or something like that. Yeah, Yarok's the business. Give him the business, yo. Muldrotha's incredibly fun. She's your main. Viper, do you do you do you play commander with Muldrotha? Okay, so I wanna take the Risen Reef, basically. And then we can get Drob and Thick Bi Biomancer again. Uh, technically, I think we can attack with everything. Because there's no way they block anything here. Um, Pika, I might ask you about it if I don't go with, like, Assaultai first. Because I do want to build a Assaultai deck. Like, I have been wanting to do that for a while. So it's definitely happening. Uh, we can bin the Scholar of the Ages. Alright, so let's Blood for Bones, Sack. Stitcher Supplier. Any action? Getting back, I think, Agent of Treachery. And getting back, Benthic Biomancer to hand. And then let's steal a Risen Reef. And now we can play that. And is this an elemental? No, it's a Merfolk Wizard Mutant. Alright, let me play that. Oh, CDC Brute Tyrant? What does CDC do again? I don't remember. It's not like the Kiru Lich Lord. That one's awful. Ooh, Ninja Demir deck sounds pretty cool. Naga Shaman 3 the Oh, I remember! She was good and limited. When one or more creature cards are put into your graveyard from your library, could have to Yeah, I remember. That card was good. I mean, it was sometimes kind of unreliable, but it was sweet. Do I have another Blood for Bones? I do not. I could loot into another reanimate spell, but I think we want to just Thought Erasure them a bunch. Oh, that sounds kind of sweet, Wolf's Ark. What in the world is going on over here? Where in the world is... What... I have so many questions. Why aren't any of these cards in play? I know, they have a full house. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta keep them, leave them with Teferis. Or like Nissas. I guess we can leave them with like Voracious Hydras. Or we can take two Voracious Hydras. Yeah, so I think we take both Hydras and leave them with the Risen Reef and the Teferi. Very weird. We can do better than that. So strange. I don't really know what's going on. Okay. Can attack with everyone. I don't know, Wolf's Ark, because it also means that they just haven't made plays in the last, like, couple turns. You know? One, two, three, four, five, six. We might actually hard cast the Agent of Treachery if they play, like, Anissa here. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm confused too, Viper. I really don't really understand what happened. I I know they were like reefing, but there was at least one turn where they could have been doing the business. They could have been giving me the business and they didn't. Thank you, Spicy, for the bitties. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, they're bouncing the reef. That's fine. Yeah, we're adapting for sure. Just to see what they... What options we have. I think we bin the scorn. Obviously, the risen reefs are good, but they're gonna have to start jumping in a second. Also, if I just... I'm able to steal the nist, have I draw land here? Man! Alright, we just attack everything at them. Who's giving me the business? Oh, they could have been giving me the business, but they didn't. Yeah, I'm hoping to, that the Lich connects. It seems like they're gonna block. 
They go down to one? And I can't cast anything? I mean, the good news is that despite them having like a bajillion cards in hand, they are very close to being dead. Hi Holden, welcome back. How goes it Holden? Hope your nap was good. Hey Ratsarina, I know we're a little unicorn today. Just for today. Ooh. BK, thank you for the dollar. Oh no, that's bad for me. That's like really bad for me. They're not that close to being dead anymore. If I do get an agent, I do get to steal this. I know. Big spender BK over there. Hey, happy birthday, Bible Thumb. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Boom. So, is it better to steal Hydroid Crisis? Because then they can Teferi bounce the Crisis and replay it, which would be annoying. Could also, like, if I steal Nissa and animate a... They can't tough right now, so I guess that, yeah, they do need a new one. It does... I guess I can cast both, so... I think it's better to agent right now, take the Crisis, because we actually have, like, pretty sweet attacks here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Is that strong badinator? I think so. Let me see. Big, big spin. Thank you so much, strong badinator. That I hadn't heard that song in a while. Never forget the Basilisks, yo. They did not block. They could have... I'm pretty sure they could have lived there. Ooh, look at us. We got 20 gems. Yes, they did not block properly. They they could have survived that turn. All right, let me wrap up the YouTube video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining me on my birthday celebration. Um, hope you enjoyed Blue Black Reanimator. It's fun. It's obviously not like a tier one competitive deck, but it is... You do get to do some cool stuff. And we almost got to draw cards off of Agent of Treachery, which would have been sweet. Um, if you want to play this deck, I'll make sure that it's linked in the description. If you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash GabbySparts. Thanks for hanging, YouTube. See you later. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash GabbySparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.